Welcome back boys and girls. This is now day two of our Kids Online Easter story. I hope you enjoyed listening and taking part yesterday and are excited to learn more today. Yesterday we heard about Peter and what he had to say about Jesus. So today we'll hear um, the journey that Jesus had to take to the cross. So now let's remember to take time and pray and focus and Elizabeth will lead us in prayer. Hi boys and girls, we're going to pray. Thank you, God, for springtime, for the lambs in the field, for the flowers, for the clear evenings. We just thank you for all of these many blessings, just for keeping us well, Lord. We just thank you for that. But most importantly, we just thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And just for the love, for the love that Jesus has for us. We just thank you for that and we just commit the rest of the kids online to you. Amen. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river. Hello boys and girls, I hope you learned the first part of the memory verse okay. Tonight we are going to try the second part, but first let's recap what the whole memory verse is. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 But God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were sinners, Christ died for us. So now we are going to try the second part of the memory verse. Here's the second part, Romans chapter 5 verses 8. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. So let's have a go. After one, after two. One, two. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Well done, everyone. We are going to leave a few words out. After two. One, two. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. And let's try that one more time. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Okay, that is great. Uh, let's try it one more time now with all the words in. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you for listening and I'll see you tomorrow where we will recap the whole memory verse. Hands, hands, fingers, thumbs, we can live to praise you. Hands, hands, fingers, thumbs, we can live to praise you. That we can raise, we got a voice to shout your praise. Jesus, got some feet, yeah, and make to dance. Let's use them now. We got the chance of hands, hands, fingers, arms. We can lift to praise. Hands, hands, fingers, arms. We can lift to praise. Hands, hands, fingers, arms. We can lift to praise. Jump from jump back here. We were made to praise. Hands up if you've never, ever done anything wrong. 
Sometimes we do things that are wrong. Sometimes we say things that are wrong. Sometimes we think things that are wrong. If you did something wrong at school, would your teacher say, Oh, that doesn't matter. No, we would expect to be told off or to be punished, wouldn't we? This story is about a young man who did a lot of wrong things. He's looking out of the window thinking, what a nice day to go out with my friends. But he had a problem. What do you think the problem was? That's right, he was in jail. Do people get put in jail because they are good? No, usually it's because they have done something very wrong. This man's name was Barabbas. Barabbas had done a lot of wrong things. He deserved to be in prison and he knew it. The Roman soldiers had caught him and his punishment would be death. He was probably feeling awful. Jail in those days was a horrible experience. Very little food, very little water and rats running over him. Yuck! This particular morning, he heard a loud noise outside the prison. A great crowd of people were passing under his window. It sounded like the playground does when you are all outside at playtime. It was the morning that they brought Jesus before the Roman governor, Pilate. Pilate could find nothing that Jesus had done wrong but he wanted to please the crowd. There are times when we want to please other people, aren't there? Even when we know what they are doing is wrong. Pilate said, I ought to let him go. It is a custom to release one man from jail at this time. Who shall it be? Barabbas, the prisoner, or Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Who do you think they chose? Barabbas was listening hard. The crowd went quiet and he could hear a man's voice speaking. The next thing he heard was a great shout, Barabbas, Barabbas, we want Barabbas. Wonderful, thought Barabbas. It must be my friends who have come to get me out of prison. He began to feel much more cheerful. But then the crowd went quiet again. And again the man spoke. He couldn't hear Pilate's words. But Pilate was asking, What do you want me to do with Jesus? The crowd all shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him. What do you think Barabbas thought? Yes, Barabbas thought they meant him. He didn't want to be crucified. He hid away in the darkest corner of the cell. He could hear heavy footsteps coming down the corridor. A key turned in the lock. The door swung open. There stood a big, strong Roman guard. Barabbas, come out of there. The governor wants to see you in his office. Barabbas had no choice. With the Roman guard prodding him with a spear, he was pushed along the corridor to the governor's office. Pilate said to him, Name? Barabbas. Please, sir, please, sir, I'll do anything, sir. Please, sir, quiet when I am speaking to you. You are free to go. Get out and never let me see you again. What? Barabbas couldn't believe his ears. Free to go? He didn't wait to argue, but quickly scuttled out of the prison to the streets any minute expecting to be stopped, but all the gates were open to him. 
When he got outside, he had another shock. He had heard great crowds of people. Now there was nobody. The streets were empty. Where was everybody? He went to the city gate to look. Let's see where the people were. All going up the hill outside the city wall to the place where prisoners were put to death. Perhaps Barabbas followed them. We don't know. The Bible doesn't say. If he had, when he got to the top of the hill, he would have seen three crosses. Who was on those crosses? Yes, Jesus and two thieves. The Bible says that Jesus was being punished. We get punished when we do things that are wrong, don't we? But had Jesus ever done anything wrong? No, the Bible says that he was being punished for all the things that we have done wrong. The Bible promises that if we turn to God, he will hear us and help us. And God always keeps his promises. Hello everybody. And our Easter Saturday craft is going to be this. So what we've got is we've got our tomb where Jesus has now been laid and our stone has been rolled across the front and then our three empty crosses. Now for this craft we need paper plate and some black card and a little bit of white paper, some prit stick and scissors and also some paint. Now, again, don't worry if you don't have any paint or you don't have any black card. I will show you at the end another way that I've done it, just with felt tips. So, first of all, we're going to get our paper plate and we're going to start painting. So, I have started this one and it's one for blue at the top. Then I've gone for purple and a red and an orangey yellow kind of colour. All right, now don't worry if it's not too neat because all the colours of the sunset just all blend together. Um, anyway, so it doesn't have to be so neat. And then you'll end up with something like this. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our black card. And we're going to fold it in half just like this. And cut it. So if you just get someone older or an adult or someone who can cut it. Because we have to be very careful. And we'll end up with one piece like this. Keep the other piece at the side because you'll need that just later for the crosses, okay? So get this piece and we're going to just cut a semicircle along the top of that so that you'll end up with something like this here, okay? And next we are going to stick that on to your paper plate with the pit stick, all right? Now once that's stuck on, you will have these bits at the back but they can just be trimmed off okay because we don't really need those bits so they can be trimmed off so once that's stuck on and they've been cut off you will end up with this okay so now we've got our tomb so the next thing we're going to do now is to make our crosses so get the other bit of the card that you had the other bit of the black card and you're just going to cut long thin strips just like this okay and um, you'll need three long ones and then three short ones just to make the crosses like so and they are then just going to be stuck on one two three now Jesus is in the middle so if we make this one just slightly bigger okay you will then have something like this all right and we're nearly done so the last thing we're going to do now is we're going to make the stone that was rolled across the front okay so I have just got my white piece of paper and I have just roughly drawn like a rough circle just to make the stone and then I have coloured it in, cut it out and looks like something like this, okay. And now we're going to just get it and we're going to stick it on to the front of the tomb and you will end up then with this and that's the craft done okay now I did say I'll show you another way of doing it so this is another way that I have done it 
just with felt tips because I know not everybody will have card or not everybody will have paint nothing so this is all just felt tips and the stone is just done the same way so it's just a big bit of paper and I've colored it in and then stuck it on okay so that's another way we can do it and also even if you don't have a paper plate you can actually just do it on a white piece of paper and it'll just be a bit bigger but sure that's perfectly fine all right and that's our lovely Easter Saturday craft I hope you all have loads of fun making it. Thank you. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. girls will just close now in a word of prayer let us pray dear god thank you that we can join together online with the kids and think about you and think about easter thank you for good friday we are truly thankful for the extent of your love stretched out on a cruel wooden cross lord keep us safe during the coming days weeks and months ahead lord we can't wait for the day when we can meet together in person and share fellowship with each other again Amen. This is living now.